Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a great recipe, the peach apricot macaron. And do not say macaroons, because they're not, they're macaron. This is a recipe by Pierre Hermé, one of the top pastry chefs in the world. We start with the macaron shells. It is called the French method because we start with a French meringue. And we start the French meringue by just beating egg whites with sugar. And then we add the food coloring, but not too much because we don't want those to turn into Halloween. Once the meringue is firm, we sift over the bowl, icing sugar and almond flour in equal quantities, something that pastry chef called temps pour temps. And then we incorporate all these ingredients together, but we do not want to whip because this would destroy the texture of the meringue. We want to gently fold. We fold by scraping the sides of the bowl and slowly flipping the rubber spatula. And then the big question is, when do we stop doing this? Well, here as you can see the mass is too firm, so we need to continue folding. And this is it. This is the right texture. So we stop folding. We transfer the butter to a piping bag with a plain pastry tip. And then we pipe those macarons on a silicone mat or parchment paper. And then you want to bang your pan on the table a few times, enough to pop any air bubbles. Last step before baking is to let the shells dry and that should last about 10 to 15 minutes. The best way to know if your shells have dried is to touch them gently and your fingers should stay dry. And then we're preparing the filling. For this we're going to blanch pictures in boiling water which will allow us to remove the skin easily. And then we mash those peaches in a saucepan and we add a bit of lemon juice to keep their color. We're going to infuse saffron in the cream. And we're gonna melt some white chocolate in the microwave. And then we're mixing all these ingredients together. We're gonna dice apricots in little tiny cubes. And then we fold all these ingredients together. For the final assembly, we're going to pair the shells of same diameter. We fill the shells and we put them together. For the decoration, I'm using some white chocolate that I'm melting and I'm adding some food coloring. And using some pastry brush, I'm decorating the shells. For the flowers, I'm using tempered chocolate, but you can use also marzipan. And then we're going to create those flowers with a cookie cutter. We glue those flowers on the shells using a bit of chocolate. Final step is to cool down those macarons for at least two hours in the fridge. And that's it. You're about to eat a macaron by Pierre Hermé. And you're a lucky bastard. <laughs>